You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and um, you have a familiar face and a familiar voice joining me in Greater Brockton, John Drazinskis. Hey, John, how are you? I'm doing fine. And nice to see you. Thank you for having me once again. Well, always, always a pleasure to be here. Well, it's getting to be that time of year again where it's Lithuanian Heritage Day. Yes. And you are a proud member of the Lithuanian community. Yes. Brockton for years has had, you know, for, for years had a very large Lithuanian community. Numbers have gone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. The church in Brockton is no longer, but there's a church in Avon that's welcomed you folks with open arms. Right. Um, and some of the events happen over there. Um, but right at City Hall on the 16th, Friday the 16th, 3 p.m., I think? 3 p.m., Okay, yes. is yes. Lithuanian Heritage Day. And usually when the mayor's offices do the Heritage Days, they raise the flag, they have some food sometimes. Um, it's going to be inside. It's actually Lithuanian Independence Day. Okay. 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 Um, you know, I don't want to, you know, correct you, but uh, it's 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 Lithuanian Independence Day. Uh, we're kind of unique uh, in the family of countries in the world, uh, where most countries have one Independence Day. We actually have two. Okay. okay? The most recent one was March eleventh, nineteen ninety, shortly after the Berlin Wall fell and the Soviet Union disintegrated. We were the first Soviet state, and we're very proud of this, the first Soviet state to declare our independence from the old Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. um, and the one that's mostly celebrated is the one that we're um, celebrating a week from tomorrow, February 16th. Uh, it's actually the 100th anniversary of, um, we actually took, uh, we took advantage of the Bolshe Bolshevik Revolution in Russia that was going on at the time to break away from the Tsarist uh, Russia at that time. And we remained independent for 20 plus years until the um, the uh, 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 Ribbentrop um, uh, pact with the uh, with the uh, Soviet Union that uh, split up Poland and the Baltic states. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a um, it's quite an uh, uh, quite an event for us. It's actually the first time in the history that I, that I know of the history of flag raising at City Hall that the Lithuanian community has done this. Other ethnic communities, other um, uh, nationalities have done it every year. This is the first time, for whatever reason, I don't know, as you, as you mentioned earlier, um, the Lithuanian community was more populous at one time, but I guess nobody stepped up to do this, and we're gonna do it this year well, and try to continue it. I go all the way back, early 80s, when I first was <clears throat> in Cable, one of your, um, members of the Lithuanian community that I went to high school with, Marite Bizinkauskas, mm -hmm. she did a ceremony in Karl Pataro's office when he was mayor. Okay. They used to have a, uh, the, the mayor's <clears throat> office used to be two rooms, and there was a little conference room, and I remember sitting there covering that event, but they didn't raise a flag because it was an indoor event sitting at a table. Right. But you had singing, you had dancing, you know, Marite has opera, classical opera training. I, yes. She might have even been a student at that point in time. Yeah. And I know she participates in the event that you, you're doing later, yeah. not on the same day. We'll, we'll bring you back and we'll talk about that another time. Yeah, Marite is actually the uh, president of the Knights of Lithuania, of the organization that I belong to, and the organization that's making this flag raising happening um, in conjunction, of course, with the mayor's office. And she will be there um, mm -hmm. to say a few remarks and also to to sing the Lithuanian and American national anthems. Well, that that would that would be nice. Yeah. Is there food? I don't know if there's going to be food. That's up to the mayor and his people. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, so. I we go we cover the Greek Independence Day. We go over when the Irish raised the flag. We, there's been a lot of different flag raisings that go on. They did a nice job because now they have an indoor flagpole and there's a hole between the first floor and the second floor. Right. So you can raise the flag inside because if you tried to do this on February 16th outside, who knows what who the, knows what the weather be. would be, okay. be like. And uh, I guess they, I, for lack of a better term, you can call it a rotunda now. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, it goes through the floors and, uh, you know, it's, it's indoors, which accommodates the elderly people and people that can't stand this kind of weather. So um, we're looking forward to it. Well, I'm glad you're doing it, and it, it's, it, makes for, it makes for good TV and good history because um, among the Lithuanian community, a former mayor, David Crosby, David was Crosby, Lithuanian. Sure. I knew him very well. He sure. unfortunately passed at a very young age, but he was proud of his Lithuanian heritage. Very much and, so. And uh, I know I 
I can say some of the names and I can spell some of the names. I finally got <laughs> Pribyshauskas right. I have your name right. You should have Bizenkowskis yeah. right. Yeah. The one I can never say is my friend Christine, now Brophy. She works in the building department. Yeah, Chris Akanis. There you go. Chris okay. Akanis, yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, everybody I know that I've ever met from the Lithuanian community, nice people, yeah. hard workers. Brock, Christine, Brockton Chris, was really a hub. Yeah, Christine married a former uh, city councilor, Tom. Tom right. Brophy. Right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah, she's, uh, she's very active in the Lithuanian community also. Yeah. And her folks. And her folks. Oh, there. very much so. Even her kids. So very it's much a, so. It's a proud yeah. tradition. Yeah. So, um, you talked about the, the Knights of Lithuania. Is that a membership organization that people can join? Do you have to be invited to join? How does that uh, well, you, you generally needed somebody to sponsor you if you're okay. interested in joining. Okay, the old rules said you had to be uh, you had to be Catholic. Okay, you had to be either yourself or your spouse had to be Lithuanian. Okay, since then they have uh, an auxiliary membership. Uh, they've loosened up the rules, the bylaws, where uh, if you're interested in our culture, you for example, if you're interested in our culture. Uh, you're welcome to join. And I know the Knights of Lithuania does charity work. They help, you know, people with different organizations. There's right. things back in the home country yep. as well. There's ties to that. Yep. Can you tell us a little more. Well, um, you know, during the Soviet occupation, it was um, it was uh, the Knights of Lithuania were were very crucial in sending over uh, uh, goodwill packages and that type of thing. Okay, um, things that were in short supply there. Now Lithuania is uh, becoming very much westernized, but they still need help. So um, th there is a purpose for the Knights of Lithuania to go on uh, with, with their mission. Tell us your number in case anyone has any questions about either this event or, or the Knights of Lithuania. And, and I, we, I know we don't have Marite's number. She's the president. But right. they could call you and you can refer. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm actually the financial secretary of the organization. So I, I, you know, I reach out to the community. Uh, my home number is 508-586-8599, and I will give you my email number. I'm having a little computer problem right now, but I do have a smartphone. Um, my email is johnd27 at verizon.net. Easy to remember. Yes. And you don't have to spell your last name, even <laughs> though I know how to do it, John. I've seen it enough times on, the, on signs and stuff. Yes, And yes. Uh, I know that um, in the month of March, We'll, we'll, you'll be doing another event. I'll bring you back here. We'll yep. promote it. We don't want to confuse anybody at this point. Yeah, but that, that was the Lithuanian Heritage Day event that you were mentioning at the um, at the top of the broadcast. Okay, okay. and we'll talk more about that, um, you know, in a, at another taping. I'll bring you back. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you John. so nice much. To see I, you. I appreciate it. Always Thank a you. pleasure. Yep. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champions.